Okay, so let's continue this web application automation very quick. In the last lectures, we have added cache views in the car tied up. Now let us actually select the bag and see what all items we added in the cart. And then we will click on the proceed to checkout button, which will take us to that page. And here we will just click on place order so that we will land on this page. Okay, we will do this validation up to this point and drop downs check boxes how to handle for this I will take different application because we will get monotony if I keep on talking on the same application. So for that we will choose another page to understand drop downs and check boxes. Once we understood there you can take this as an assignment to solve this particular page. But now our goal is to um, add few items into cart maybe you can add one item in the cart go to the bag and proceed to checkout and place order we will do it till here to wrap discussion on this particular application so let's complete that in this lecture it's very simple so for that I will create new more one more new test copy and I'll paste it here test2.js and I don't want to write all these code so let's say that we have selected cashews here um, do we really require this code having the length of 4 and not required So we were actually typing CA in the edit box so that few products are displayed, right? We were actually trying to select what product? Cashews. That's it. And I will also remove all this code. Car applicator, action. Let's keep it simple. Okay. It will type CA in the box and then it will grab all the products and from all the products it iterates and click on cashews. That's it. And this is what our test2.js says. You can update this description for your next test. Okay, it's like my second test to switch something like this. Okay, it's up to you. So I don't want to focus anything on describing this. So save this and we will make sure that it's running till this point before we add further validation. So this is another test, right? So come back. Now test2.js is there. Select this. If this is not displayed, then reopen this editor with Cypress open command again so that it appears. Okay, test2.js. Let us see if it is selecting caches. Okay, it selected caches. And now our next goal is to click on back. So we will now use Cypress spy locator. And this is your step to click on that back. It will be very simple if you use this command. You will feel like automating this can be very, very easy, right? These guys have ready-madely preparing everything for us. What all you need to do is just use click method on it. That's it. But in general, when you come to real time and start working on framework things, what all I explained will come into picture. Don't think the Cypress is easy of just grabbing the elements from there. So when you build some complex test cases, you will come across all these scenarios, all the concepts, whatever I'm teaching now. So I have seen a video of someone posting about Cypress that it's so easy that you can just um, select the spy locator, copy and click, click, click next. That's easy to explain on video with one single application. But in real time, when you are facing challenges like click on the product based upon the text, 
okay and that time you should know how to iterate through an array we using each method there's so many real time challenges will be there and keeping that all in mind i have designed this course so you will see so many tough scenarios with an easy explanation don't worry okay we clicked on back so right now it's in spy mode if you want to come out again select that so that you will be back and now you can click on that proceed to checkout okay this is text right we can simply use contains method remember if you want to click or identify any object based upon that its text then you can use contains method and pass that text so that your cypress will look for that text which have the whatever you give in that contains method and you can click on that so test2.js the ui dot contains it might give you some uh, spy when you proceed to check out it has given you some css but why to complex it with css when you are very sure that um, proceed to check out is pretty straight forward so proceed to check out and then just click on that nice and here um for now i don't want to validate anything let's go out of this page by placing an order so that you will have at least some a satisfaction that we have automated few pages place order and this is the locator and that's it with this we have completed placing the order and handling this check boxes and drop downs is whole different story right now we are in the stage of clicking typing and grabbing the text okay so we were in that stage we have not yet saw how to handle drop downs check boxes pop up windows there are so much to learn but for now we will stop at this point okay so by clicking placing an order you should reach this page nice so let's save this test and look at our cypress execution now on saving automatically it clicks on that oh we are already in the place order yeah but it did not click on that cy dot click can only be called on a single element your subject contained 10 elements what happened okay let's debug what happened contains proceed to check out and then we clicked it before clicking is this after clicking okay so better dot button is so generic i guess let's use any um, other method here okay so give me a second so let's select any other method place order also you can use a button yeah you can use contains there is no problem if you use place order contains method this looks more unique right dot button is so generic that there are n number of buttons available but they are invisible mode that's what cypress is complaining okay you can see that for button there are so many elements which are not in visible mode so cypress is confusing us so place order and that should help us to identify it uniquely all right save it and then perfect you see that right now there is no error you have successfully landed on this page so okay nice we did some coding and we were able to reach out this page but take away from you from this application are so many things right what we documented here at the same time keep an eye on assertions as well those are key points in validating your automation test 
right now we have only seen two assertions one is to get the count of products and one is to grab the text from application and match with your existing uh, expected text we will see so many assertions going forward when we deal with checkboxes and radio buttons okay so that's all i have and in the next lecture we will focus on one more new topics and we will straight away take a new application as well but one caution here when you try to run this project in chrome right now there is a bug with chrome i don't know that might solve by the time you watch this video but i am not sure only a specific bug what we can see here i can i will show you i don't know if it is still existing now or not when it goes to next page it is complaining that um hopefully yeah this is the problem so somehow cypress detected cross origin error so that means i am really not sure but we are on the same domain called rahulshettyacademy.com but whenever cypress identifies that we moved out from one domain to another then it will treat that as security issue and it will fail your test now for example um open excel so right now i am in rahulshettyacademy.com and when you navigate through your test suddenly if you go to some uh, qaclickacademy.com which is my previous site so when you move from this side to this side cypress thought that there is some security threat which is redirecting from this website to another website and it throws an error saying that cross origin or cross domain is not allowed but you can uh, suppress that error by providing some configurations in your test uh, where is that but unfortunately the configuration whatever you put to make this cross origin error off is not working they were intentionally using this defect that when the domain is changed they want to write it like this but they have also given a suggestion that how to skip this error if you need to just put this value in your cypress.json file so that cypress do not complain even if you move out of your domain but in our case we did not go we are still in rahulshettyacademy.com but i am not sure and then i try to set this setting in my json file but still it did not work and then i realized that again for everything we have to go to their official website only so here they have openly told that there is a bug for this web security okay so this is what error we are getting same origin policy um so you should have yeah they have given how to overcome that by adding that configuration but they were saying that check our open issue so which is right now open that means there is a bug and people complained it and we have raised in the cypress so it's still in a open status that why that's not working it's unknown so that's the reason if you see something like this whenever you are working with chrome don't worry switch to electron browser inbuilt it is still using chrome rendered engine so whatever you see in chrome same thing it will display in electron so you can happily switch to electron and make sure you run this test without any failure in real time when you work with cypress most people prefer electron because that comes as a package with cypress and which is more faster and give same experience as chrome but chrome also should work but somehow it's running with that specific issue you may not get this with any other websites but somehow my website is complaining and there is a open issue for that so it's not our problem and it's working fine with electron browser so we can proceed okay so that's pretty much about this lecture and see you in the next lecture with new topics thank you